Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Chris and welcome back to Full Throttle Remastered. So we are hanging out at the gorge here and we just read about uh, what's his face McFace and how he jumped the gorge back in the day using a couple of components. So um, we got to go basically get those. So one of them we're going to need a hover thingy off a car we're gonna need uh, our um, what you call it um, damn my mind is just totally blanking right now uh, the thing that the trucker stole from us that Maureen gave us for our bike to go real fast and stuff like that so here's the car and I'm thinking I need to uh, thinking I need to find a way to jimmy this um, hover pack thing. I don't touch anything without wheels. Uh... <laughs> I don't touch anything without wheels. All right, so I don't know how exactly. I don't touch anything without wheels. About the hood, hmm? I don't touch anything without wheels. Well then, maybe we're not going to do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Wait a second, wait a second. Eh, wait a second. Eh, get off. Get off your bike. I uh, just remembered we have a tire iron. 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 Let's use this. Okay, what we got here? What'd you just pick up? I want I want to inspect it's a this. Single hover lift unit. Okay, so that's the hover lift unit. Uh, and we need uh, so can I use this with my bike? Looks okay for an aftermarket part. All right. Um, so another thing that we're going to need uh, is in the caves. Oh, my bad. My bad. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to drive. All right, we're going to hit the road. So I need to go to the mines, that road that I keep coming up on. Is there a reason why this sounds so bad? All right, so we're going to look for the, the cave dwelling, whatchamacallit, weirdos. Highway 9, Highway 9. Interesting, is this a rival guy? I haven't seen you since you retired from the ah, Bullcats. Okay. Hey, Ben, how's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. Oh, what are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, man. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? That's what the old mine road's for, son. All right. Any fighting tips, Torque? Ah, oh, Ben, who's tougher than you? What's up with those cave fish, man? Cave fish, that's where I need to Watch go. out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. Those rot wheelers are ugly suckers. They're none too bright, either. I'm sure you can handle them. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, it's about timing. How do the cave fish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. 
kind of trippy. Super trippy. Father Tork, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? You know any way around Cuyahoga Gorge? Around it? <laughs> it's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? It blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cavefish got his ramp in their hideout, you know. Where is the cavefish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible, unless you got those weird cavefish specs. Can't talk anymore, right. Ben. Eating too many bugs. Well, take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. So I gotta kick a cavefish dude's ass and steal his uh steal his goggles so I can find the secret entrance. Who is this guy? Oh, I can throw the fertilizer at him. No introductions, huh? I'm gonna blind you with fertilizer. Slack jawed sissy. I'm gonna beat the hell out of you with a tire iron. Submit! I own the road. Got a chain. Nice. I don't know what the best weapon for cave fish is, but uh, I'm sure we're gonna find out. So I just gotta work my way through all these guys till I find a cave fish, I suppose. Oh, I'll hit a girl. You like choppers, huh? Jesus. How about this chopper? Right. <laughs> oh my God, she beat me! No way! Shake it off. It's just a chainsaw. No big deal, right? What was that uh, bumping noise? Is that me crossing the... Yeah, it's me hitting the little bumpers, I think. Come here, buddy. Say there. Is that a re-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster you have there? Why, yes it is. Ta-da! Well, uh, so much for stealing that. Oh, what is this character? <laughs> that was quick. I'm just taking names. Maybe that guy that has the recoil booster, uh, I gotta dust him with the fertilizer if he's just going to try and run off every time. You drop anchor or something? Suck nitro, snail bait. Damn. All right. Well, maybe not. Maybe I just have to beat the hell out of him before he can get away. What is this? We end of the road? Oh, no. We good. All right. I got to find a way to Beat this chick. Back for more. Your firewood. Oh my Oh Got her. Hell yes. The chainsaw is mine. Oh, it's a cave fish. It's a cave fish, we gotta get him. I'm gonna cut you up, dude. <laughs> wow, that was easy. Holy shit. Wow. All right then. Did he blow up in a hole in the wall or did a
I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about that. Dude, this is too easy now with the chainsaw. What? One hit, they're done. Alright, I need that vulture guy to come back. I'm gonna bust him up with a chainsaw. So did I do something wrong with the cave fish? I'm not sure I understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. Does that mean I have to use a different weapon? I'm not seeing any like burning wreckage on the road anywhere here. He's got a rebel tattoo on his forehead. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's pretty cool. So I'm guessing like, there must be specific weapons you have to use on specific people. Because clearly, I've knocked out like 3k fish and I'm not getting the goggles at all. And this guy, I just can't hit him with anything. I don't know what his deal is. You drop Holy shit. Or something? Okay. That should have a couple of good boosts left in it. Alright, so I had to use the chain. It's the only thing that works. So what do I use for this guy? It's, uh... Smash you. All right. All right. Let's do a little uh, analysis of his behaviors. Oh, cool. I see. So he has to be sitting up for him to take damage. Oh, okay. And. Now I got the goggles. So you have to use the board on the cave fish, you gotta use the chain on the vultures, and everyone else apparently just doesn't matter. Oh, equip goggles. We're riding with our special goggles. I'm not seeing anything. Was that an indication that I was supposed to leave? I feel like that exit takes you to the, uh... Highway 9 is, um... The highway we came from, I thought. I'm just gonna keep going. Is there any reason to take him off? Unless it really isn't on this road. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on that road. Turn around, gotta go back. I feel like I did the whole road though and I didn't see any, uh... Oh, I gotta deal with you again. Yeah, so are you. Sorry, lady. Alright, where's this thing at? I feel like I should see a, a really large 
noticeable thing. So I don't want to get off on any of those places because those are taking me back to the highway. Where's this mine road? I mean, I'm on the mine road, but where's the cave fish den? I feel like I shouldn't have to drive this far. Am I supposed to wait till I see something? Sorry about that, guys. Uh, unfortunately, OBS completely crashed during my recording, or it, it glitched out and only captured the options page, even though it was playing normally for me. So I had to, unfortunately, trash the original half of this episode and literally go back from the start and re-record this part from here on. Uh, the next episode is actually fine, um, but the next like 20 minutes, 15 minutes or so of this are unfortunately something I've already done before. Luckily, knowing what to do in this game, I was able to play a brand new new game and get up to this point in less than 15 minutes, which is pretty incredible. Anyways, we're back, and I'm going to record to where I stopped originally and show you what happens. Wish, uh, wish it wouldn't, wasn't like this and it could have been the first set of footage that I recorded, but whatever, you know. OBS does dumb things sometimes and you just gotta kinda roll with it. So, we're back on the mine road looking for the cave entrance and what you gotta do here is wait for the bottom left corner to start flashing cave. It took me forever to figure this out because I kept expecting to see a door or something on the side of the wall. It's just a matter of getting to that spot. I think it's really close to this thing. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know exactly where it was. You just have to kind of wait for it. Maybe not.
the tour. Hey, Ben. What are you doing out here? Any fighting tips, Torque? What's up with those cavefish, man? Watch out, Ben. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with the... Those rot wheelers are ugly suckers. How do the cavefish ride if they're blind? You know any way around Cuyahoga Gorge? Up. Where is the cavefish hideout exactly? Someone can't. Well, long story short, turns out OBS stopped recording anything other than the options menu in the original recording of this episode. I have no idea why, because on my screen, it was fine. So, the second half of this video, I had to trash the original footage, sadly, and just now started a new game and played all the way up to this point. Luckily, uh, knowing what to do made it a pretty short process, but we're back now, so... Uh, I wish it could have been a little bit more organic for the rest of this episode, but uh, it'll have to do for now. So basically, in case you did not notice, um, the cave entrance, the only way you can find it is by waiting for the word cave to flash on the bottom left of the screen when you're wearing the goggles. This took me forever to figure out. I drove, like, the entire mine road many, many, many times um, just waiting for like a door or something and obviously that that's not the case so I finally noticed the cave word appearing on the bottom left and that's what you gotta do it's completely hidden so now we're in the cave fish hideout and there is none other than the ramp we need to make the gorge jump it's a pretty weird cave cave fish are weird dudes So we gotta grab this bad boy. Hook it up to our bike. I don't know. I don't know why they stole it. They're just strange, I guess. They like worship the guy that made the jump or something. Part of like a weird biker religious cult. time to get out. So now we gotta unhook this. If you don't unhook it and you just try and leave, the cave fish will come hauling ass after you and steal the ramp back. So you actually have to chip off the reflective dots. Like so. The foil. Man. Mission accomplished. So now we have all the components to make the jump. I'm done with these boys. Fine, throw them in the gorge. So we've got the hover lift, we've got the ramp, and we've got the recoil booster, whatever thing that we stole from the vulture. So with those three things combined, it is now time to make the jump. Like Ricky Myron once did, across the gorge. Well, no, my bad, my bad, my bad. It's not what I wanted. All right, I've modified my bike enough. We're doing this thing. Pretty long start.
flying by. We have now arrived at Corley Motors Manufacturing. We've got to run down here and see this crazy old guy who's probably my favorite character in the entire game. Souvenirs here. We got your hats. This guy's amazing. <laughs> we got your pennants. We got it all right here. Official Corley Motors merchandise. Drive your own derby car by remote control. Our bunnies come with batteries included. Oh, yeah. Lovable, lovable little but I got a button under my toe that's wired directly into Corley Security's <laughs> alarm system. Of course, I could be lying, but the question is, do you feel lucky? Lately, no. We got your T-shirts here. Sure, sure. Take it for a spin. Just don't so go out of range. We're just gonna drive this little race car out here. All sizes and colors. Fill our handy beverage hats with your drink of choice. Looks like it's getting weak. Oh great, you'll be keeping cold and looking bold. So we killed the battery. Uh, you big fella, come give our derby car speed. And now the next thing that we need souvenirs to remind you of your special special bunny. adventure. But we can't just buy grab your kids it. a bunny so they'll shut up on the long drive home. We also have no money, so we can't buy a bunny either. Excuse me, but are those shirts uh, are they all cotton? Well, uh, let's just see here. Now we swipe it. It's not a real bunny, by the way. It's a robot bunny. Cotton. Oh, um, that's too bad. I'm allergic to cotton. <laughs> so. Don't be a cheap jerk. <laughs> Buy something. <laughs> All right. So now that we have the bunny, I'll show you why we took that bunny. Why it's so important. So, just down the road is the vulture hideout. We gotta go to the vulture hideout. You'll see why. There's the vulture's hideout on the other side of this field. I've heard a lot about the vultures. And I guess it's all true. So, we've got ourselves a minefield, which poses an obvious problem. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Luckily, though, those we weapons have were a about a weight. furry little friend who can help us out. Be brave, mighty bunny. just gonna hop 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 until it dies and it drops a battery so obviously we're gonna need a lot more bunnies to make it all the way across the minefield which comes to our next plan If we don't got it, then it stinks. All right, so we got a battery now. <laughs> Pat the bunny. This you guy, don't want to. This guy that should put some life into it. Have, uh, has no battery. Sure, sure. Except Take for it now. for a spin. We just replaced it. Hey, don't go in there. Sorry. Sorry, now mister. Look what you did. The entrance is all the way through the factory. Hang on, little buddy. Daddy's coming. All right, so now we got now it's just me and the bunnies. The gift shop all to ourselves. 
So we can take a whole box of bunnies and go back to the vulture hideout. So we're going to head back here. And there's a strategy to how you do the bunnies. The first couple times... The minefield's been replanted. Indeed Tidy has. little vultures. The first time I tried this, I just dumped the bunnies out on the ground and let them go. And that's not the way to do it. Crap. Crap. So you do have to dump them on the ground, but you got to immediately start picking them back up. Until there's just one. If you don't do this, they're all going to explode pretty much at the same time, and you're not going to be able to cover enough ground to make it to the, the entrance of the vulture hideout. So we let this one little guy go as far as he can. Then we hike it. I don't want to set off any of these boys. Okay, as far as we can go. Then we drop our next one and rinse and repeat until we finally make it far enough. Take a step further. Hmm. I don't want to pull out a bunny. couple more to go and you don't actually have to use the entire box it looks like you would to make it all the way there but the event is over about like right here or somewhere like four or five bunnies worth of I don't want to set off stuff to give you a little extra in case you mess up there we go that's the guy I was telling you about, Susie. You sure? Yeah. And that's the Maureen. guy who killed my father. All right, vultures, rack them up. Let's rip them quick. Listen, Mo, you're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. You heard her, kids. Let's draw this out. <laughs> so there's a, a lot of dialogue options here that you can choose but there's only uh, a certain one that will let you progress if you use Your the father. one don't you dare talk about my father you just get cut off bastard. and I, as far as I know you can't actually fail this segment so it's just uh let me go or else. or else what I'll call your names <laughs> Like what? Diaper Dynamo. How? How'd you hear that name? Your father. He told me just before he died. You bludgeoned my father and then talked about old times? I didn't kill him. Rip Burger did. A photographer took pictures, but her camera was stolen by the same thug that came after you. I, I still have that role. Well, develop it, would you? While I still fit in my clothes? Okay, you stay here. Hey. Sorry. Yeah, well, don't sweat it. I'm gonna get Rip Burger even if I die trying. No, we have to expose Rip Burger at the shareholders meeting. That way, we take him down, we save my gang, and your father gets his dying wish. You take over Corley Motors. Ripburger canceled the shareholders' meeting. He made a statement to the press that there'd be no meeting until the murderers were brought to justice. So, no shareholders' meeting until we're both dead? Hmm. That could be arranged. Okay, so yes, here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripburger, in a desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. 
first prize of tonight's smash up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby, which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion, and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her rejecting out of her car? No, they'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> That's some plan. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go blow you little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum Carnage Marathon. Yeah. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious-looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his Such real name. Suit. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? Oh, now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another masked newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute. To the princess of Pile Up, Doreen Schmorley. All right, boys. Sick em. And finally, we have a last-minute addition to the lineup tonight. A deadly-looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Not these guys. Try and get away now, bicycle. All right, now. Are you ready to see some reckless driving? Are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? Yes. Then let the demolition derby begin. Where are you, Ben? Hang on, Mo. Here I come. So I found out that you can use the keypad for this, which helps a lot. Trying to do it with a mouse is a total thing. I stalled when I bounced off the roof. Looks like these babies have a glass jaw. Yeah, stall this dude out. Now. Then we gotta push him all the way across. I'll show you why. Man, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, Get yeah. Get over here and nail me. Slowly but surely, we'll make it across. So if you, like, if you try and get the Marine, you basically just get zoned out by the blue car, and it is physically impossible to Watch out for the Boom Boom, boom Brothers, Mo. Them. So, instead, we gotta use this guy to our advantage to him up there. Okay, Boom Boom Brothers. It's all over. Watch. What are you doing? Are you taking a nap? <sighs> Idiots. Okay, Mo. Time for our big finale. Do it!
Alright. What a pain threshold. So I have to get over here. Actually first though. No. I have to set the stadium on fire basically. Ben, quit clowning around and make a diversion. I am a diversion. No offense, but we need a bigger one. The bike is guarded. Who cares about the bike? Mo says it's important, so we're not leaving without it. All right, I'll see what I can do, but I'm burning at both ends here. So there it goes, it's slowly well, catching on fire. Don't you think? Well, okay, you heard of Avenger. Oops. Yeah, you're right. The derby's over. Run for your lives! My bad. Finally. Now, squish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. Yeah, look at me run all right. Now I'm gonna jump on the car. So you gotta hop on their car. And then they gotta drive down here. And we have a chance to make a break for it. And run into the inferno. And these idiots are what dumb happened? enough to follow you. Did you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised. And give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm. Funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well, you blew it. On the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to start the shareholders meeting. Where's the hard tail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike, but I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. Ooh. But how are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. When he got too old to do all the work himself? Nah, this is back when I was six. Hmm. How do I find the secret passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot, and you're in. How do I find the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall, and if I lined up that crack with my eye level and kick the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. What if I can't find that spot? Just line up your eyes with the crack, wait for the meters to go black, and kick. Okay. What are we in, anyway? It's a C-330 Big Mouth Industrial Cargo Jumbo Transport we fixed up. We want to get it rolling so we can take it to biker rallies. You're going to try to fly this thing? Rolling, Ben. Rolling. Hey, this baby's flying days are over, just like mine. I'll see what I can do. Right. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. Sorry again I had to re-record the last bit. Um, really nothing I can do when OBS just takes a dump. And unfortunately, I didn't catch it in time. I'm not sure how I would have caught it unless I just kept checking every five minutes or something like that. But anyways, we're back to normal. The next episode has already been uh, 
recorded properly um, where I didn't really know as much about what was going on. Um, so I didn't have to do anything for anything from this point on. I just had to re-record the last couple of segments. So anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more Full Throttle. Um, we're just going to finish this up in one more episode after this pretty short game. And uh, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.